Well, hi everybody, it's your boy Ray. This is take number mm, maybe like five because uh, I've been playing around with like my webcam settings for um, OBS and um, the previous webcam vlogs I had to do like a microphone delay to uh, to sync up with um, the kind of the weird frame rate in my webcam but now it should be a little bit more smoother um, now and then uh, I realized reviewing like the first couple vlogs that my audio was off. I'm like, oh, that's a big, big audio sync. So I played around with the audio sync. Hopefully, everything sounds a bit more right and looks a little bit more right. A little bit more right, you know, as the audio comes off my mouth, or at least as you're listening to audio and like you're watching my mouth. So it should be a little bit better. But anyways, um, this is the vlog for the week of January. I'm in front of the camera. I should know this. <laughs> January 18th through the 24th. So week 30 of off season, and. Um, so uh, before I get into that, I was recording uh, on my camera uh, all of this week, but uh, the weird thing about it was like I haven't got back into like the correct habits about doing it, you know, especially like if I record something um, random, you know. Uh, so talking in the car, which is like the easiest times for me to do a vlog, like instead of doing like three or four minute clips. There were like seven, eight minute talks in the car. I'm like, man, these are just videos themselves. I should just make these videos themselves. Like, nah, let's not do this. That's too much work. That's too much encoding for like, uh, like one day, you know, then to do it multiple times. So yeah, but for week 31 though, for next week's vlog, I'm recording everything on this camera, right? Recording everything on this camera. Um, so training wise for week 30, nothing really too much to talk about out of the blue just a couple PRs and such so let me uh, pop out my weight now really quick so um, so I'm just gonna name the PRs I'm not gonna talk about the week in specific so a uh, big PR um, bench 245 for three and I've been at a funk with the bench press you know with the past couple blogs I've been saying and for some odd reason I was able to hit 245 for three and this was kind of weird because usually I do like micro progressions where you know, I only go up maybe like five pounds, or if I stick with a static weight, I'll probably try and hit like an extra rep or two uh, for the next set using the same weight. Um, but last Monday, you know, I was, I won't want to say I was kind of cocky. I was pretty damn greedy. So I started 225, and I did that for um, one or two. Let me look at this. <laughs> I did it for two sets, and I did it for five each. Pretty easy. And then uh, instead of going to 230, I jumped up 10 pounds to 235, did that for three. I was able to feel the fourth rep though, and those three reps felt pretty fine. And then 245, instead of jumping up to 240, I went up to 245, even though my problem area has been 240. And somehow I miraculously hit that for three. I'm like, God damn. You know, I was kind of thinking to do some sort of weird, maybe like deload or go back to a lower weight type progression. But I was like, I hit it. <laughs> I hit it. Uh, so I felt pretty good about that. Um, push day, push day was a weird type of PR because. Um, um, Wednesday, I had to go into, or I didn't I had to go into, but I volunteered to visit a English evening class or evening English class. Uh, started at 6:30 and the class ended at 9. Um, I intended to stay up until 8, but I actually stayed for pretty much literally the whole class. So I must have left at like 8:50 and then got to the gym at 9. And my gym closes on 10 Monday through Thursday. So I kind of thought to myself, okay, how am I going to reduce like my hour and a half, almost two hour workouts down into one hour? And so I managed to do it. <laughs> I managed to do it. I managed to cut, you know, all that time, you know, pretty much literally by half and got done by like 10 o'clock. You know, I had to take out the supersetting in the arms. Um, I minimized as much rest as I can between sets and exercises. And to be honest, I got a weird ass pump <laughs> at the end of the workout. And yeah, I was really, really vascular. like towards the end I'm like oh shit like you know I'm, I'm not cutting but man I could see the veins in my arms man it's kind of strange it's kind of strange kind of strange like what you can do like just an approach to it and like um, even something where you like something like me I, I don't really do like really like short rests you know I kind of like when I'm ready for it I'm ready for it so it can be short rests or I might need to rest you know a adequate amount of rest in between but you know it's kind of strange but also refreshing from time to time to do something a little bit more different and so I feel kind of cool to do Wednesday um, leg day on Thursday uh, I got a PR volume squat 255 for eight 
it's and that's also kind of strange as well because that's getting really close to like you know the 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 high end of you know my working weight for squats you know because like even though like my working weight is like 300 you know just really heavy but it's 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 close you know it's it's like it's like right there it's just like 50 pounds away so that means like I should be able to do like 275 280 like ridiculously easy and um, and you know obviously my sticking points would be like 300 plus but man it's uh, it's kind of strange it's kind of strange <laughs> Um, and nothing notable about Friday other than you know, it was um, it was a pool day just trying to add a little bit more volume and um, trying to trying to do workouts without straps so it's it's definitely gonna depend a lot on my grip strength and my grip strength is not that great but um, it's working somewhat somehow you know it's uh, I'm getting used to it um, you know it's definitely kind of just playing around with the grip you know just thinking about you know how can I do something and not fatigue you know and it's a lot of playing around but other than that it, it is working you know kind of the same way with um, like doing my squats without a belt you know I just gotta work at it and eventually um, the strength will build up and then I wanna say a lot be e it'll be a lot easier but I guess it'll be a lot more natural for me to do it and then you know once I use straps again it you know I'll get that uncomfortable feeling you know because even the belt man um, I'm pretty weird about maybe putting on a belt at this point because I don't know if I would like it <laughs> or not and obviously like since I'm getting a little bit fatter I gotta readjust um, the belt and yeah that's why I keep a screwdriver on it since I use a lever belt uh, I keep a screwdriver on it just in case but yeah other than that I haven't really used the belt in like a long long time and I'm feeling good about it feeling good about it um but yeah um Week 30 is in the bag, uh, heading into week 31 soon, and we're getting to the close of the month, or closing in on the end of January, and it just felt like I just started, actually. Um, but um, just to be kind of clear about um, uh, where I was at the beginning of uh, January, I was at 151.6 at the beginning of January. And right now for the 24th, I weighed in this morning at 152. But but here's the thing, it was a 152 late weighing, you know, because uh, I slept in. I woke up at like noon or something like that, and you know I slept in. So if I woke up at 12, not 12, if I woke up at like 9 or 10, I probably would have been uh, about about maybe maybe like 152.4, 12.6 maybe. I don't know, maybe around there, because uh, I do notice like. If I weigh in in the morning compared to like noon or like the afternoon, like there is a, a drastic difference, you know, just on those days where you know I'm kind of comparing, um, you know, like days that I've seen in the past, you know, according to my weight log. But yeah, um, end of the month, man, <sighs> end of the month. But you know, if any case, I just want like this off season to be done. You know, I just wanna, I just wanna start cutting because right now I do feel kind of bloated a little bit you know and that that's also a case where like I've been getting in a lot of rice lately and um, I know the serving sizes because I do measure my rice it's just the problem is I have too many servings <laughs> at a time so I kind of been doing that consistently throughout the week but you know my weight hasn't really fluctuated this whole week but I do feel a little bit bloated uh, bloatedness you know just you know just coming out of say like post-workout or even like lunch you know so maybe I'm gonna control that for next week um, you know, as far as just like carbohydrates you know maybe switch carbohydrates to something else I don't know but um yeah I'm gonna try to evaluate that just a little bit more or maybe just control the rice intake right control the rice intake because I'm pretty sure like consistently all of this week was like I won't probably as close to like 500 carbs as I can Probably like around there, and you know I'm a pretty fluffy fat, 152 pound guy right now. So, so yeah, maybe if I could reduce that down, maybe I won't feel so bloated and I won't feel so you know kind of big, you know. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, but yeah. But anyways, um, I want to get this off season done, but you know there's still a couple more weeks of training, and just to kind of put this in perspective, you know I only lasted last in you know, my last off season. You know it was only three and a half months, and so that was you know um 12 14 weeks so right now I'm at 
the end of week 30 going into week 31 I'm, re I'm already past you know a little bit past double that and I still have you know a couple more months to go before I start cutting again so I hope I gained something out of this I hope I gained something out of this but you know uh, we'll see once I start cutting and dude it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun um, because I think really like I feel more comfortable in a lean state even though it's even though it is kind of a weird feeling kind of a weird kind of disgusting feeling to be extremely lean I think for me though it's probably the more comfortable state for me to be in uh, especially if I do maintain my strength and I do maintain my sanity I do maintain my good eating you know if I do maintain all that you know being a small you know Super Saiyan Goku would be totally fine with me you know real life Goku how awesome would be that you know yeah, how awesome would be that? so um, I'm gonna end the vlog right here we're already hitting on getting close to 11 minutes so yeah so bye bye peace out we're gonna go back to some old school vlogging for next week so stay tuned mm, thumbs up for PRs baby